Hi Spike, how are you? I have uh, implemented the, uh, those features in the Flutter app and uh, I have tested it uh, with uh, local, AP, local APK from the local storage and uh, with the live server too. So uh, I will share you two videos. In first video I will uh, share you the testing on Android 6, Android 7, 7.1.1. Uh, we, uh, in, in that video the APK will be loaded from the internal uh, storage of the app and perform the installation step and, the, uh, and after the successful installation of the app app will be uh, reopened again without any user interaction so uh, I have uh, made two videos because uh, uh, testing it with the live server it will take uh, more time uh, during downloading because uh, our APK size is around uh, one, 140 MBs plus 140 plus MBs so I have uh, tested with the local uh, storage at, at, in, in first video and in the second video I have uh, tested uh, two uh, visions of the app from the live server Okay, so now I'm testing on it on Android 6 emulator. So now our app has successfully opened on the device. So I'm uh, running this command to make uh, our app as app owner app. Admin owner app, app actually. After that, I'm creating an internal storage uh, directory which is only specific to this app. So, where I can put the APK file which I need to install. As I mentioned earlier, I'm doing this uh, because uh, showing a demo with uh, the on these devices uh, during testing it takes a, lo a lot of time during downloading so I am uh, just making it uh, there uh, an internal folder 
directory and uh, copy and paste the new, new version of the APKs and install them by, by click of the button. So here I have uh, uh, uploading the uh, two APK files to the device. After that, when I uh, hit the install button, then the recent vision, uh, I mean uh, current is 07, uh, last digit 07 and uh, the next is 08. So 08 uh, will be installed. Build number which is ending uh, digit is 08 this will be installed so hitting the install apk button this will install the little number 08 apk So after the uh, successful installation of the APK, um, the app will be restart and open again without any user interaction. Here is because I am testing on uh, an emulator and uh, at that time I have 3 to three to 4 heavy software which are open, one is Android Studio, second VS Code and third is uh, and, uh, video editor so it will take uh, uh, some time to reopen it ok so app uh, has successfully reopened that's why it's been ok and uh, build number uh, which is ending digit is 08 so this this was the first APK which is installed without any user interaction. I have uh, used install APK button, but when uh, it will be automated, so this function will be triggered when uh, APK will be successfully downloaded. So I am hitting the install APK button again, which will install the next version of the APK, which is uh, ending digit 09. Actually the process has been completed, it just uh, take few moments to restart the app. Ok, here it is, app has been uh, reopened again after the completion uh, installation step. Uh, vision is build number ending digit uh, 09 and our NFT has been loaded which is a test NFT Okay, and uh, now next testing on the Android 7.0 device. As you can see in the device, it's uh, the fresh emulator. There is no app installed uh, yet. So I will install the uh, first version of the app, which is uh, whose ending digit is 07, build number ending digit is 07.
so here app have been uh, successfully installed uh, now i will uh, repeat uh, those steps again uh, in which uh, make uh, run the command which uh, will make our app app as admin admin owner app and uh, copy the files in the internal storage of the app so for that i will uh, make the new directory in the android directory data here i will create a new directory which is the package id of the app in that directory i will create a another directory files which named as files two APKs which I want to use for testing. So those APK files have uh, been uh, copied. copied successfully. Now I will hit the install APK button to install the 08 version of, of the APK. So that vision have been successfully installed. It will take a couple of seconds, and yes, uh, there it is. Uh, when we are testing it on any new device which contains Play Store, so it will uh, upon the first installation of any APK, uh, it will show us this dialog. Uh, when uh, so we need to hit the install button to continue continue the installation. So this will be one time uh, step on any new device. So uh, after that, if uh, we install any new APK uh, in the background, uh, so no action will be required from the user. As you can see here, the 08 vision have been installed here. If I hit the install APK button again, it will install the 09 vision in the background and restore the app without any user interaction. successfully installed and app has been restarted and here our latest version has been opened successfully and uh, its ending number is digit 09 okay so next is testing on android 7.1.1 so uh, app is actually already opened in the on the in device emulator so I'm just making the directory in the internal storage and uploading the two APK files in the internal storage. Okay, so these two APKs have been uploaded. Well, maybe we can say copy to the internal storage of the device which is only accessible to the out to our app only Okay, so files have been successfully copied. Okay, so next I'm running the command to make our app as a admin owner app. So we can install the app in the background silently without any user interaction. So I uh, guess uh, it's successfully done. And uh, now I have I hit the install apk button uh, first let me uh, show the logs first so I can see the 
information in the logs. So here it is. Now clicking on the install APK button will install the 08 version of the APK in the background and reopen the app or restart the app. So as, as we are doing this first time on this fresh device, so uh, it will uh, need some interaction to complete the installation process as I have said earlier also that uh, we need to do some interaction when app is installing first time. So I hit allow button which is uh, uh, required by Play Store which is installed in our app. So after that our device app will be ok on the device and uh, uh, when any new update available app will be installed automatically without any user interaction. So we need to uh, make this uh, step manually to make it uh, workable or make our devices ready for our app. Actually it is taking too much time to open uh, the app again. So let me restart the device and check it. Uh, is that uh, our app is successfully open again? Uh, actually, I do really do this in this way to open our app again. Okay, so now. Um, hit the install apk button again to install the apk i don't know why it's uh, doing this in that way so let me uh, repeat that again okay our app has been installed actually uh, the if there is no issue with the app uh, uh, sometimes uh, emulator behave uh, weirdly i don't know why So uh, uh, here our purpose is to uh, test it on multiple devices to ch verify that it's working perfectly or correctly. So here uh, as you can Okay so I have uh, showed you the uh, demo on the three devices and uh, you may notice that on the last device Android 7.1.1 I have only uh, tested with the one uh, version of the app. Uh, actually, I have uh, made the 7 point, uh, uh, video on the Android 7.1.1 first and then tested it on Android 7.0 and, and Android 7.6. So as you can see, I have tested it rigorously on two devices and it worked successfully. So uh, if you still need further elaboration or further uh, demonstration of the uh, app on certain devices, so let me know i will do it again for you so this is the uh, uh, so this is the testing of the app uh, uh, where uh, our app is installing from the local storage so in the next video i will uh, demonstrate you how app uh, will behave uh, when uh, we uh, do this in the proper flow like uh, download the apk from the server and then after the successfully download downloading completion of the uh, apk we will trigger the install apk uh, of, uh, method uh, which will uh, done in the background uh, no need user interaction i just only uh, use one button to trigger the 
downloading process for testing purpose only obviously as you uh, have mentioned earlier that uh, you are, uh, you are um, uh, making device units uh, which uh, will cons consumer or your customer will uh, just uh, open the pin pack device and uh, place it on the on their wall and uh, just power it on uh, it will uh, work as just like that just like the same way uh, that you have uh, that you want i just uh, showing you the demo with the buttons to make uh, the entire com testing process complete to make to complete the testing process so uh, i hope uh, you enjoy it. you uh, like this uh, demo so here it is uh, so let's see uh, next video in which i will show you the live demo with the server